Hello everyone, welcome to Park Maths. In this video, I am going to solve this interesting exponential math problem where 2 raised to power a plus 4 raised to power b plus 8 raised to power c is equal to 328 where a, b, c are natural numbers. So here, you will find some order pairs of a, b, c which verify this equation. Now to solve this question properly and step by step, First, we will write this question in the solution and then we will try to solve it step by step. So the question is 2 raised to power a plus 4 raised to power b plus 8 raised to power c is equal to 328. So first of all, we will change 4 and 8 to its index or exponential form. So we can write this equation as 2 raised to power a plus we can write for s 2 raised to power 2 whole raised to power b plus we can write at s 2 raised to power 3 whole raised to power c is equal to 328. Now here in these two terms we will use an exponential formula and we will multiply the powers. So this equation will become 2 raised to power a plus it will become 2 raised to power 2b plus it will become 2 raised to power 3c is equal to 328. Now let us suppose a 2b and 3c is equal to an order fair p q r where there is a condition of p q r such that where p will be less than or equal to q and q will be less than or equal to r here my dears a is not equal to p and 2b is not equal to q and 3c is not equal to r here the number which is smallest in these three numbers will be equal to p according to this condition and the number which is largest will be equal to r and the numbers which is in between will be equal to q so here we can write this equation as so the number which is smallest in these three numbers or which has the smallest power will be equal to 2p plus the number which has the power in between will be equal to 2q plus and the number which has the highest power so will be equal to 2 raised to power r is equal to 328. So let us take this number common which is the smallest number. So this equation will become 2 raised to power p 1 plus it will become 2q divided by 2p so we will subtract their powers so it will become q minus p plus and it will become 2r divided by 2p so we will subtract the power so it will become 2 power r minus p is equal to and we can write 328 as 8 times 41 now here we can write this at an exponential on power form as 2 raised to power 3. Now here 2 raised to power p is an even number and 2 raised to power 3 is also even number. So let us compare these two numbers. So it will become 2p is equal to 2 raised to power 3. So the bases are same. So we will compare the powers. So p will be equal to 3. So this is the first value. Now we will also compare this equation with this number. So it will become 1 plus 2 raised to power q minus p plus 2 raised to power r minus p is equal to 41. So we can write this equation further as 2 raised to power q minus p plus 2 raised to power r minus p is equal to 40 because 
you will subtract this one from 41 so it will become 40 now again let us take 2 raised to power q minus p from both the terms so it will become 2 raised to power q minus p it will become here 1 will be left plus and here we will subtract these two powers this power minus this power so it will become 2 raised to power r minus q is equal to and we can write 40 as 8 times 5 but we can also write 8 in exponential form as 2 raised to power 3 so again the 2 raised to power q minus p and 2 raised to power 3 are evens so let us compare them so it will become 2 raised to power q minus p is equal to 2 raised to power 3 again the bases are same so we will compare the powers with each other so q minus p is equal to 3 but from here the value of p is 3 so here we will substitute the value of p which is 3 so it will become q minus 3 is equal to 3 so we will shift this 3 to the right hand side so it will be added to this 3 so q will be 3 plus 3 is 6 so the value of q is 6 now let us compare this term with this number so it will become 1 plus 2 raised to power r minus q is equal to 5 so we can write this equation further as 2 raised to power r minus q is equal to 4 because you will subtract 1 from this 5 so it will become 4 but we can also write power as 2 raised to power 2 so again the bases are same so we will compare the power so it will become r minus q is equal to 2 but the value of q is 6 so we will substitute, substitute the value of q which is 6 so r is equal to 2 plus 6 is 8 so the value of r is 8 now my dears from this equation we will do the further steps so from this equation a comma 2b comma 3c is equal to p q r but we get the values of p q r r 3 6 and 8 so from here we will find the values of a b c as a to b and 3 c now here's a b c in this problem are natural numbers so from here 3 c must be a natural number and multiple of 3 so here this 3 is the multiple of 3 so if 3 c is equal to 3 so then the value of 2 will be 6 here is it is an even number so it is also even number and the value of a will be 8 now again if the value of 3 c is equal to 3 so the value of 2 we will be 8 because 2 b is also in even number and it is also in even number and the value of a will be 6 now if 3 c is equal to 6 because 6 is the multiple of 3 so the value of 2 b will be equal to 8 because 2 b is in even number so 8 is in even number so the value of a will be 3 no 8 cannot be the value of 3c because it is not the multiple of 3c so from here we will find the values of a b c so if a is equal to 8 then the value of b will be 2b is equal to 6 so we will divide both sides by 2 so we will get the value of b as 3 now from here we will find the value of c so 3c is equal to 3 we will divide both sides by 3 so we will get the value of c is 1 so from here 
we will find the first pair of solution where a is equal to 8 b is equal to 3 and c is equal to 1 so this is the first pair solution of the above explanation math problem now we will find the second pair so if a is equal to 6 2b is equal to 8 If 2b is equal to 8, so here we will divide both sides by 2. So we will get the value of b is 4. And if 3c, 3c is equal to 3, so from here, if 3c is equal to 3, we will get the value of c is 1. So from here, we will get the second pair of solution, which may be a is equal to 6, b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 1 so this is the second fair solution of the above exponential problem now we will find the third if a is equal to 3 then 2b will be 8 and 3c will be 6 so again if a is equal to 3 and 2b will be 8 If 2b is equal to 8, so the value of b will be 4. And if 3c is equal to 6, so here we will divide both sides by 3. So we will get the value of c is 2. So the third pair of solution is a is equal to 3, b is equal to 4 and c is equal to 2 so this is the third fair solution so finally this this and this are the three pairs possible solution of this interesting exponential math problem and last don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel for such a more interesting math videos thank you so much for watching take care see you in the next video bye bye